So, we did a video on my last video about a gold slim limited edition PlayStation 4. Now today, we are actually doing a PlayStation 4 Pro limited edition. And as you can tell, it is a much bigger box, but that's because the system is actually a little bit more bigger because it's got more power into it. So this is the most powerful PlayStation 4 system, actually the most powerful PlayStation system on the market right now until the PlayStation 5 comes out. But still today, this is the number one most powerful PlayStation system ever. Now, this one is an upgrade unlike the Slim only being the exact same as the, you know, the OG model. This one is actually a true upgrade. You're actually getting 4K visuals and graphics are with more detail on the textures because of the 4K or the higher resolution. I know not a lot of games can do native 4K like the Xbox One X can. But as long as you have a 4K TV or a 4K monitor or a 4K whatever display, except this TV that we're testing on is not a 4K TV, but it'll actually do good for, you know, trying out videos. But as long as you have a 4K TV and stuff, you're getting all the advantages that this system has to offer as being upgradable from the base PS4 or PS4 Slim. Now, the frame rate is also one other thing that is improved on this system, so you will get better frame rates, and the loading times are just a tad bit faster. They're almost roughly the same, but on certain games, you're getting load times that are a little bit slightly faster, like I think GTA 5 is one of the games that actually does it. So, now we're getting ready to do the unboxing for this system. And I cannot wait to see how this system actually honestly looks. If I can actually get it. Oh, there we go. We're starting to get her. I think. Hold on a second. It's really taking me a minute. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And it started to not do every single thing, but... We got her started, unless I just, just decide to do this. Ooh, that break peeled off, but all right. So, okay, so far looking good. We actually got the right controller also for this one. It's the white controller. Now, we did get the cords, so that's good. So, huh, that's weird. And, heck yeah, we got another charging kit, so that's, that's two free fucking PlayStation controller uh, charging kits we got for free. The one with the gold system, and then the one with this one. And now, here comes the, the system of the limited edition. Of course, you probably already know because of now I should get the controller. But, as you guys can tell, it is a white PlayStation 4 Pro GameStop exclusive limited edition. So, this system had actually, um, I don't know when this one came out, but as you can tell with the power cord, it's actually the first generation model PS4 Pro. So, it is a white PlayStation 4 Pro GameStop exclusive limited edition. And of course, we ended up getting also the right controller for this system as well. So, I'm really, really liking this, to be honest, because that's what I was really, really wondering and was hoping that if I got these two systems when I bought that, and then I traded my black PS4 Pro for this white one. I was hoping that I would get the controllers with them. But surely enough, I ended up getting lucky and ended up getting them. So next up, we're actually going to get ready to hook this baby up. And we're going to test her out on this TV. Now, like I said, this is not a 4K TV. 
this is just a like standard high definition and I had this TV I think even before 4k TVs were coming out I think I had this TV like a couple of years before 4k TVs were coming out because this TV is pretty old I've had this TV since uh, the end of 2012 so I've had this TV for coming up at this decent at the end of this December month for a total of seven years I've had this TV and so far it still works there's a couple buttons on the side that are broke they ain't working properly but they still work so this TV is still in great condition so now we're actually going to get this system hooked up we'll probably have to put it like we'll probably have to put it like someone like some something like this on along the lights so that way it actually stays on there so now I gotta get ready to undo the wrapping part of the cords and stuff which you always know how fun that is <laughs> and this one's gonna be a pretty tricky one because this is a bigger power cord because of like I was saying this is the first generation model PS4 Pro so yeah this one's gonna be pretty tough actually I think I might actually just do the HDMI first since it's like small but yeah I was nervous because I did I didn't think the GameStop would honestly uh buy my PS4 Pro the black one but surely enough they actually did and I'm kind of like really really thankful that they honestly did because at first I bought that system brand new and it started to screw up on reading certain discs well it didn't really screw up on reading discs or anything like that it just like it started to mess up while trying to read a game, even though games still read fine in it. But there was just something odd about it that was... It just wasn't producing a regular noise of, like, when you put a disc in. It was making some kind of weird whatever. And then at times, I would have to constantly, like, turn it off and turn it back on just for the game that I have in it. And I don't know if that was, like the disk drive going out or messing up or something or if that's just a normal problem on certain PS4 Pro owners but it it just really really bothered me a little bit so I'm kind of glad that I got rid of it and yeah well this one's pretty freaking tough I'm gonna probably end up snapping this one because it's freaking tough and shit Yeah, I'm probably going to end up snapping it because I'm trying to pull it and get these freaking things. Uh, like I said, this is one thing I hate about doing stuff like this is that you're trying to get it to freaking get untangled and stuff. Even though they have to do this in order for to, you know, like, to like freaking uh, make sure that it comes with its stuff so that way it doesn't get lost or it comes out of the box or something. They have to make sure that it actually, like, it gets in there. I'm gonna say this one is actually quite a bit more tougher than the freaking the PS4 Slim uh, Gold Limited Edition one. Dude, my nail's already coming off because of it because I'm pulling on it. Alright, there we go. Now we're actually starting to get somewhere. Or if I can like try to. I can't even, well, I'm trying to see if I can just pull this fucking out, but somehow it's not even working with that. Yeah, I don't know. I might actually get it somewhere. Yeah, this one's a pretty fucking, pretty tricky one. I know, I probably shouldn't even try this. I probably should just grab one of my other HDMIs. Actually, that's what I'll do, is instead of trying to do this, I'm just going to grab one of my other HDMIs. Now, this one I still will have to do. Or actually, no. I don't even have to do this one. I could just grab my power cord on my other PS4 Pro that I have in my other room and stuff, so. So, that's actually a lot more faster way than as I was thinking. So. So, we can just check it out with my other cord since it's the exact same model it's just a different color so here's my power cord for my other one that I want to just try out because instead of doing a lot I just might as well just use one of my 
my other ones that had this exact same. So, get her hooked up. Now I gotta get the HDMI and try it out. And as you know, I got the HDMI. So we get her plugged in right here. And just a little bit of a heads up, we are going to be testing out the exact same games as you can see that are right here that we did on the gold system earlier. We're going to try out these games right here. So we're going to try out the same games and see if they actually work. Alright, so we got the system hooked up. Now all we got to do is turn the TV on and try to get it to see if it actually turns on. So, now most likely I'm probably going to have to plug the power cord into the system in order for this to honestly, honestly, um, probably turn on the controller because it's probably like not linked to it. So, plug her in. But first of all... Let's turn her on and see if she actually comes on and ends up working. All right. So far, so good. The light's coming. The light comes on. And it's not coming on the screen. Okay. Something's not right. And plug it in all the way or something. Let me try to unplug it. Let's see if that works. Oh, there we go. Huh. That's strange. They must have not, um, they must have not, like, uh, factory reset of this system like they did with the gold one. They must have not done that. So, saying it's checking the system storage status. I mean, they did just get this system in our store just yesterday, so it's not like that it's completely, it's been in their store for quite a long time for them to have it, that like, you know, they just like got this one in from a trading just yesterday, and now I ended up getting it, but here it is, it actually does turn on, it just had to do that checking system storage or whatever at first. I probably got to, well, I might not act, actually have to do this. It might actually be a good percentage of charge. I just got to wait for it to turn on. Or maybe they did. Hmm. Well, we turn her on. Okay, so it does come on. I don't have to worry about that. All right. We're not doing uh, none of this. Well, not the internet part anyway, so we're just going to cancel that. We're just testing this out also to see if it actually turns on, or not turns on, but we know it already turns on, but it, if it plays discs is what I meant to say. So, yes, accept, start now. Yeah, someone didn't turn it off properly or something like that is why it did that. So, but like I said, you're not getting a, four, a 4K because this TV does not do 4K. It only does 1080p. So, all right. So we're officially on here. Let me actually check the storage to see if it actually is good. And it is a one terabyte. Everything's completely reset. The controller works, so that's good. So now the games part. So as I was saying, we're testing out the exact same games as I tested out on the other system on my last video. We're testing out Minecraft, Uncharted 4, WWE 2K18, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Destiny 2, and then Grand Theft Auto 5. So, the first game we're going to do is we're actually going to do Uncharted 4 A Thief's In. So, let's see if she, this system actually ends up reading these discs just as great as the PS4 Gold Slim did. So, here we go. Time to test her out. 
So far, it took it in with no problem. And it's making a good... It's actually making the right sound that my other PS4 Pro actually was not honestly doing. So far, that is installing. So that one read. So now we're going to move on to our next one, which is going to be Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. So, so now we're going to do Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. Alrighty. Now here we go with Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. See if she works. So far, it's making the normal sound. And it worked perfectly. So, and it just installed within not even half of a second. <laughs> it installed. So, so far so good. Four more discs left to go, guys. And the next up we're going to do is Destiny 2. So... Uncharted work, Minecraft work, now Destiny 2. So let's see if Destiny 2 works. So far, so good. And as you can tell, Destiny 2 is actually reading. So, so far it's working. Now we got three more discs left to go. I don't understand. I never did understand the button layout. I don't understand why they have the disk drive button over here, or the disk eject button on this side, and the power button on this side. But then again, I can understand because the light bar is right down below it and this is the uh, spot where it shines the most but then again you would think that the disk drive button eject would be on this side because this is where the disk drive is and it's not way over here but oh who knows but you know it doesn't mean that this system is a pretty bad system because honestly it's really a freaking fantastic system especially as an upgrade that's my uh Central error theory, if you heard something that just kept going, that's my central error that just kept going. So next up, we're going to do Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So, so far, half of the games on it worked in it. So now we got this one and two others left. Alright, looking good. It's also doing the same thing. And there you go. It started to install. Yep. That game worked, so now we have two left to do. So far, it looks like this system is also a good worth of a buy so far. But we don't know yet. We got two more discs to te test out. Next up is WWE 2K18. I've been a big WWE fan for like a really, really long time, and I get like all of these years, each year that comes out, I always get them. So like 20 is coming out in like two months, and I already got it pre-ordered. But I'm starting to change into the digital situation, the digital future, but then again, later on down the line, I buy hard copies for the games that I pre-order digital just to have hard copies because eventually hard copies ain't going to be around much longer and having a big collection of them yeah, just having a big collection of hard copies especially physical it just it seems like it's nice to be able to have both so like if an emergency was to happen like somebody stole this system and got your account or something and you didn't have a um a security on it then you would still have the game if uh, you had a physical copy and then if something was to happen if someone broke in and you had your account very secured 
then you would have the game especially digital while they took your physical copy. So I know it's kind of like, you know, you waste your... I know it's kind of a lot of waste of money is what I'm saying. If you was to buy two copies of the same game, but a physical one like I just put in here and then a digital download. But at the same time, if you were to, the one, of the, the one or the other would actually be your saver because someone could get your account or still or come and break into wherever you live and steal your physical disc because then all you have to do is just worry about buying a new system and then you could re-download them and you still have them right there with you. So then again, it's it's just a big 50-50, so that's why I buy most of the newer games, at least some games, as a digital download and then especially a physical disc version. It's because of an emergency like that happening because you never know there's a lot of people out there that you know don't even give a crap about nothing but it's kind of nice but so far as you can tell wwe 2k18 work so one more disc left and i'm going to finish the video off with letting everybody know about whatever i will say this system's got a couple like dirty spots on it but at the same time it's not like it's completely completely filthy i mean you can still see mostly white on it so it's still pretty used and it still looks like it's in uh good condition too so the way it looks like is that this system's just as in good condition as the ps4 slim so the last game we're actually going to try and like i said i play so much of this game it's not even funny but it's just because this game keeps me pre it just keeps me motivated because there's so much to do and so much stuff that you could buy while earning your money. I mean, and then ranking up at the exact same time and then trying out all this new content that Rockstar has added to this game. This is the reason why I play this game so much is because there's so much to do, so much stuff that keeps coming into the game, and Rockstar just keeps making you feel motivated with this game. And I have a lot of, a few friends that are from Xbox, not PlayStation, who disagree with me on the graphics and stuff on this game but honestly even though this game originally came out on the last generation of consoles the xbox 360 and the ps3 and they brought this over just a year later for the xbox one and the ps4 and now this game's about to hit five years on these systems to me i honestly still think that the graphics look pretty darn realistic on this game i mean they're not really especially with like newer games that have recently came out like Rockstar's latest Red Dead Redemption 2, but the game just still feels really realistic to me. I mean, because you you see clouds outside that look just as real. The sun, I mean, looks just as real. It's reflecting from the water. I mean, the buildings look real. The people look okay, I will say. The cars look real. I mean, this is just a great fucking game ever made, especially on this console generation. This is probably like my number one favorite game on this generation and that's why I play so much hours but <laughs> enough talking and we should probably get to testing it out and seeing if it works <laughs> so here we go so this is the last game and so far it's looking good and it actually installed so there it goes so, it looks like to me that this limited edition was worth of a trade with the black PS4 Pro that I had. So, it looks like she was worth of a trade. So, I'm going to end the video, guys. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed it, please hit a like. And those of you that are interested about it or you know just send me down in the comment section down below of your thoughts about me showing this and like the games I was talking about <laughs> and stuff so just send me down in the comment section down below and like I said hit a like and if you are new subscribe to the channel and it, those of you that are do subscribe to the channel you can check out on some previous videos that I have uploaded back especially if you go are new and you haven't checked my gold ps4 that i did on my last video you can feel free to check that out but pretty much what you're getting 
with this one is the exact same results as the gold PS4. I mean, yeah, I got these both from GameStop. I bought the gold one, and this one was just a trade from one of my other ones. And I know GameStop is really good with making sure that used systems work. I mean, there's possible a like 20 to a 10 to 20 percent chance that if you buy a used system, it may have a little problem or something may screw up, but most of the time, GameStop actually makes sure that it's actually working properly before they take it from off somebody's hands. So, like with mine, mine still works most of the time, so they took it off. And I got lucky with this one. So, so make sure to hit a like if you enjoy the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will keep you guys up to date with more video, more gaming videos in the future, even if it's showing off a console or just recording a gameplay while making like a game news video, or if it's just live streams of games like WWE or whatever, I will keep you guys up to date with more videos in the future. So, so I'll keep you guys posted. So rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next video. So, peace out.